Ministry of External Affairs today said that Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov will pay an official visit to New Delhi from March 31st to April 1st, 2022. The Russian Foreign Minister's visit comes amid Russia-Ukraine tensions. Earlier reports had suggested that Lavrov may visit India with the primary objective of finding ways to bolster Indo-Russian trade. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan has lost majority after one of his coalition government's key allies, the Muttahida Kami movement, reached an agreement to support the opposition in the upcoming no-trust vote against him. With 177 members, the opposition now has more numbers in the National Assembly, while the government is left with support of only 164 members of parliament. The Ministry of Defence has signed two contracts worth Rs 3,102 crores with Bengaluru and Hyderabad units of Bharat Electronics Limited. The Ministry has signed a contract with Bharat Electronics Limited Bengaluru for the supply of Advanced Electronic Warfare EW suite for fighter aircrafts. Whereas another contract has been signed with Bharat Electronics Limited Hyderabad for Instrumented Electronic Warfare Range IEWR for the Air Force. A committee formed by the Supreme Court to monitor the Lakhimpur Keri violence case has recommended cancellation of Ashish Mishra's bail, the court told Uttar Pradesh government. Ashish Mishra, the son of Union Minister of State for whom Ajay Mishra is the main accused in the case. The court asked the state to make its stand clear on challenging Ashish Mishra's bail by Monday. As many as seven teachers were suspended for allegedly allowing girl students in hijab to write an examination in a school in Karnataka's Gadak, a state education department official said. The teachers, among other college staff, welcomed all students offering roses, the official added. Students in hijab were allowed into the school and not into the examination hall, the teachers said. Russia has proposed to India to use a system developed by Russian Central Bank for bilateral payments and India is considering it. Bloomberg reported, Russia's plan involves rupee-ruble denominated payments using Russia's messaging system SPFS, the report added. Rubles will reportedly be deposited into an Indian bank and converted into rupees and the same system will work in reverse. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences has sent a letter to its members, informing them about the course of action after the Oscar slapping incident. We are upset and outraged by the unacceptable behavior on stage by a nominee. The letter obtained by Variety read, The Academy's Board of Governors will make a determination on the appropriate action for Mr. Will Smith, it said.